Hello, Ambassador. It's a pleasure Hello. to meet you. Welcome to my house. Oh, thank you. My wife. Mm -hmm. Hi, nice Anna. to meet you. Nice Welcome to, meet to you. our house. Oh, thank you so much for inviting us today. Oh, thank you. I see you are wearing maybe Panamanian um, traditional clothes. Yes, the name for this dress is Montuna. It's the daily use oh, custom a very beautiful. dress. Mm -hmm. And in the another side is a um, pollera. Oh. Pollera is the formal wear for the uh -huh. woman, Panamanian mm. woman. Mm. Pollera is for the party or oh, formal for wedding, yes. Occasion. In I Panama, uh, many girls use the pollera for the wedding. And we also celebrate in Panama one day for this dress. Many ladies from different provinces come to this place uh -huh. and gather together. Oh, and I they see. walk uh -huh. on the street, uh -huh. you know, celebrating mm. the pollera's festival. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, this is our humble. Oh, for Panamanian, right. uh -huh, uh -huh. and we are very proud of the pollera because it's beautiful. a beautiful dress. Yes. Uh -huh. But also we have oh. this type of fabric that uh -huh. are made by Indian. Oh. Uh, it's called uh -huh. mola. They are very famous, uh -huh. and uh, they are handmade also. I love the color. Yeah, uh -huh. tropical color. Yes, uh -huh. very it's vivid. Very, uh -huh. very Colorful. typical. Uh -huh. Now let me show you another type of traditional dress oh, in Panama uh -huh. that are used wow. by the Indian group. Oh, and I this see. is a, a specific group mm. of Indians mm -hmm. called Gunas. That's more or less how they dress oh, in their uh -huh. daily life. They have their own culture, their own dialogue. They live exactly as they were at the oh. beginning. They kept all their customs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I can read the respect for each culture. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are a variety mm. of a group of, of, of ethnia of Indians, mm -hmm. but these ones are the ones who live on islands. Mm -hmm. So that is a I see. particular mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of them. Um, Ambassador, could you tell us more about molas? Yes, mola mm -hmm. is one of the icons of this mm. a group of Indians in uh -huh. Panama, uh -huh. which are called gunas. Mm. For example, these are a variety of mola. Oh, Can you see beautiful. the colors, uh -huh. tropical colors? Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the shapes are mm -hmm. different animals oh, I that see. they try to represent, mm -hmm. that have a meaning for them. Mm -hmm. Also, sometimes draft a history or, or mm -hmm. symbol of history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are made out of molas. Mm -hmm. no? So you can see the mola that they use for their dress Mm -hmm. as decoration, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it became so famous that it's been used for other purposes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Another icon of Panama is oh, our famous hat. Yes. Uh -huh. It's Sombrero Pintado. Uh -huh. It's sombrero the, pintado. the name of the Sombrero Pintado. See, it's, it's, made, it's made out of fire mm -hmm. and ink. I would say that the sombrero pintado mm -hmm. and the pollera mm -hmm. is the most uh, representative of Panamanian culture. Mm -hmm. And the sombrero pintado mm -hmm. has been recognized mm -hmm. by UNESCO. So this is more than a Panamanian icon. Mm -hmm. It has been recognized because the value mm -hmm. that Minecraft mm -hmm, mm -hmm. have preserved for from generation to generation. The techniques I that mm -hmm. has been made to produce this hat mm -hmm. uh, have a, a traditional important value that mm -hmm. that, that was what uh, the UNESCO mm -hmm. used to recognize mm -hmm. this hat mm -hmm. as part of the heritage, mm -hmm. a cultural heritage. I see, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Today I prepare for you arroz con pollo. In uh -huh. English, it's uh -huh. chicken with rice. It smells so good. It's a full <laughs> dish, 
and this is a oh, tamales. Nice. This is the name is tamales. It's mm. very traditional in Panama. Uh -huh. For is, it, is it kind of bread? No, it's corn, uh -huh. ground corn. Mm -hmm. This is very traditional for the parties. And for the dessert, I prepare today cocada. Oh, cocada uh -huh. is, oh. is very sweet. Uh -huh, uh -huh. In Panama, cocada eat with cheese. Oh, coconut with cheese. Yes. Mm. Oh, this is very delicious. Mm -hmm. We have different type of food mm -hmm. depending on the region, mm -hmm. like the Atlantic side, mm -hmm. you know, that province, Colón, they, they cook the seafood with special uh, taste. Mm -hmm. They use a lot of coconut. Mm -hmm. And curry. And curry. Mm -hmm. So the food there is mm -hmm. different than mm -hmm. the food, for instance, in Panama mm -hmm. or in your province. Nice. They have mm -hmm. different tastes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, do we have curry for this rice? No. No? Mm -hmm. No. What makes the color yellow? Uh, uh, the name of the color for the color is achiote. Mm -hmm. It's little seed. The seed is red and little and put in the mm -hmm. fry pan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with oil mm. and produce this color. Oh, I see. <laughs> So, have cheese and coconut together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Cheese makes the coconut even sweeter, and the coconut makes the cheese even saltier. <laughs> <laughs> and this coffee mm -hmm. is a special coffee. Oh. It's, a, mm -hmm. it's a geisha coffee. Geisha coffee? Yes. Mm. Panama produce coffee normal, mm -hmm. normal coffee, but mm -hmm. produce two geisha coffees and our geisha coffees win the more expensive coffee in the world. Mm -hmm. Pay mm -hmm. around $1,020 for pound. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was a record, yeah. That's the reason why you don't see so many geishas oh, from Panama on the stores. See. Because mm -hmm. this is a high-end quality mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So it's not a, a coffee that we produce in quantity, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. in, in the case of mm -hmm. Panama. Mm -hmm. Because they care more about the quality, mm -hmm. the control of the quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very special. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I'm um, different kinds of fruit flavor yes. mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. but it's only coffee, no fruit add. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. this is the original flavor of this mm -hmm. kind of uh, mm -hmm. coffee. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for all of these preparations. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure. I really enjoyed traditional foods. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you, nice. thank you. Um, so shall we move on and continue our conversation? Of course. Let's go. Mm -hmm. um, so I've heard that this is your fifth year since you've been appointed as an ambassador of Panama to Korea. Um, what kind of differences and similarities have you noticed um, between our two countries? Well about the similarities mm -hmm. between the two countries, there are several. Uh, I will just point out one so of, of, for me that is uh, very important, is that Korean society is very family oriented. Mm -hmm. In the case of Panama also, we take care of our elderly, and that's very important for keep the value of mm -hmm. a family. Right, right. And so the unity that you see here in Korea with the family is the same, similar to Panama. Mm -hmm. And the country itself, uh, both are surrounded by oceans. Uh, mm -hmm. Panama mm -hmm. has the two big oceans, the Atlantic and the Pacific, mm -hmm. or Caribbean, uh, that surround each coast of Panama, and of course, Korea also have right. a lot of 
ocean around. Right. So that's another similarity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about some differences? Well, differences is that uh, in general, uh, Korean people are more rush in their life. And that's the why pali pali is a very typical expression of Korea. In Panama, in contrast, people are very relaxed. That's mm -hmm. a very typical attitude of the tropical uh, weather or mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. People go more easy. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, Panama has been chosen by a, a study made by Gallup as the happiest nation on world. Oh. Mm -hmm. So uh, that means that Panamanians are trying to keep a balance between work mm -hmm. and enjoying life. Oh, I see, I see. Um, and I know that at the beginning of this year, you took part in a love sharing relay event to celebrate the 20th National Punda Festival held by Umsang. Um, how did you come to take part in this? Well, I was invited by Father O, who is the founder of the Cotonne uh, Congregation. It's mm -hmm. a Catholic congregation oh. who founder was uh -huh. Father O, oh. and He's a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and he invited me to this event. Oh, I so see. So uh -huh. I really was very happy to be part of it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. How did you come to know about Pumba? Well, because when I came to Korea, I got involved with Kotone organization mm -hmm. because I visited that center, which is a place where they take care of the homeless people. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that, I was impressed, really impressed. Mm -hmm. And then I want to participate mm -hmm. in that project. Mm -hmm. So after years of being participating, uh, I invite Fire O to Panama. Oh. And Fire O went to Panama to meet the Pope, mm -hmm. Francisco, mm -hmm. and he decided to have a cotone in Panama. Mm. So we start coordinating. We are at the stage of preparing the donations for study construction. We already have the land that was donated by the Catholic Church. And this is a, a thing that we are doing for the homeless in Panama on the name of Korean. And so, so this will have a meaningful and a special message between the friendship of Korea and Panama. Mm. And then when I was invited to the festival, it is something very special because they are celebrating the foundation of Cotonne and the name of the Grandpa Cho, who was the first person who far out found the street. Homeless. Oh, this was mm -hmm. a person, an old person that was itself, he was a poor guy, but he was taking care of other elderlies that didn't have clothes, didn't have food. Mm -hmm. So it was an example, and Pharaoh was impressed. So he took him mm -hmm. to his house, mm -hmm. and in this day, we celebrate the name of, of the first person who was, you know, part of Cotone. Mm -hmm. So it's about humanity, love, and philosophy. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's about love, to share love, and to those people who have been abandoned, that are empty inside, mm -hmm. to make right, them change, right, and exactly. to, to, to make them believe also mm -hmm. in humanity, mm -hmm. in love. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, so now let's talk about our bilateral relations a bit yes. more. Um, according to the 2018 report by the World Economic Forum, um, Panama came first among Latin American countries in the Global Competitiveness Index in the mm. port industry and seventh in the world. Um, how was Panama able to gain such strength in shipping and logistics? I would say that the key uh, element was when Panama took the decision in 2000 to transfer the port activity 
from the public sector to the private sector. Uh, so when that happened, mm. the poor activity in Panama mm. changed in a dramatic mm. way. Mm. And that's allowed us mm. to be the leaders in the region mm. because the efficiency of Panamanian right. port mm -hmm. are very strong. Mm -hmm. And the companies, we opened our, our country to and invite the most important players in the international community in the port industry. Mm -hmm. And now in Panama, we have from different countries, the ones who are uh, operating the terminal. You have from Singapore, you have from China, you have from the United States companies mm -hmm. and from Taiwan that now are the owners of the concession. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the key. They, they have the expertise, they have the knowledge, mm -hmm. and the Panamanian regulation and the support of the government. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In addition to that change you just mentioned, um, I think one of the main driving forces behind Panama's success in shipping was definitely the Panama Canal. Yes. And Korea also ranks eighth in the world when it comes to the frequency of using Panama Canal. Um, what are some ways to further increase cooperation mm -hmm. in logistics between our two countries? Okay. Korea is one of the, the, the most important users of Panama Canal, mm -hmm. and the position, it changed every year. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Korea has been number four. Mm -hmm. So every year there is a, a different places that different companies has and countries. I would say that we have to sign an MOU that is pending uh, between Panama and Korea related with maritime issues mm -hmm. uh, because both countries have a lot of interest mm -hmm. in the logistic and Korea because it's an exporter country mm -hmm. and Panama because Panama has the canal and also we have a cluster around the canal mm -hmm. to give services to mm -hmm. all the international companies in mm -hmm. Korea there are many so so Korea is one of the let's say uh, important player in, in, in the services that Panama provide. Mm -hmm. So around this, there's so many elements mm -hmm. that every year we have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. uh, some conventions that have to apply to the shipping companies that where they have to change their vessels to use another technology. There are many things that concern to both countries. And I propose uh, in my first year here in Korea to sign an MOU of cooperation between both countries in maritime activities for the f benefit of both countries. Right. Spending for the signing and that will help a lot. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, another reason why Panama is known to be a global hub for logistics is that it has the world's second largest trade zone, um, the column free trade mm -hmm. zone. Could you tell us more about it, please? The Cologne Free Zone is related to the canal. The idea when the canal started operating, uh, the idea was to create a free zone to allow the market in South and Central America mm. to have the capacity to buy a different merchandise from Asia country. So bringing those products to Panama mm -hmm. is an idea to facilitate them to buy their products, products from different countries in Asia, mm -hmm. Korea, mm -hmm. China, mm -hmm. Japan, mm -hmm. in Cologne Free Zone. Mm. So it's an important free mm. zone sure. that had benefit the exchange of goods between Asia mm. and South and Central America. Mm -hmm. We have more than 2,000 different stores and the reason why this free zone is so useful is because the geographical position no, of Panama. Mm, mm, I see. Um, then how much Korean companies contribute to that number? I would say that uh, Korea should be one of the biggest uh, and most important country in order uh, of the amount of product that has been selling in Panama. I would mm. say that Korea and China mm -hmm. are the most 
mm. of the products that have been selling in Cologne Free Zone. Mm. I see. Um, I know that our foreign minister Kang kyung met with a president of Panama last year uh, and they talked about the bilateral efforts in infrastructure area and she requested for Korean companies to be able to take part in the infrastructure business in Panama. What's Panama's take on Korean companies? Well, already we have the main or biggest Korean company working in Panama. Mm. And what we take of those companies is the technology, the knowledge, the experience in construction. Korea has a reputation in their companies because their background. Mm. So for us, for our uh, biggest infrastructure companies, mm -hmm. uh, co uh, infrastructure construction, uh, Korean company are one of our favorites. Mm, I mm. see. Um, I think one of the hottest topics between our two countries is FTA. With Panama, along with other four um, Central America countries yeah. and Korea, are actually just now waiting for the FTA to take in effect. Yes. Um, when it does, what kind of benefits would both parties have? The FTAs was just between Central America, Panama and Korea, was just approved by the assembly here in Korea uh, a week ago. Mm -hmm. So that's a great news. Right. And in the case of Central America, almost all the countries are already ready mm -hmm. with the treaty approved by the mm -hmm. assemblies. Mm -hmm. Some are pending uh, of the last state and in the case of Panama, we are also pending of the approval in the Assembly of Panama. Mm. So we, we are estimating that by October, mm. we should have this treaty already on effect. Mm -hmm. And of course, it will have a great benefit for our people and our different products. It will increase the exchange of products mm -hmm. between Korea and Panama at a better price because they won't have the tariff that they have now. Mm -hmm. Some will have zero tariff, some will have a little tariff that sure. will be decreasing mm -hmm. by the years. Mm -hmm. So at the end, who will be benefit are the consumer who mm -hmm. will get at a better price their products. And Koreans product with good price and the high quality that they have will increase their sales mm -hmm. in our markets. Mm -hmm. I see. I think this is my last question. What other areas we can look forward to um, for more bilateral cooperation? Well, in the case of Panama, eh, I would say that in the technology, eh, especially in the area of education, how we can apply the technology to the education. Right. Korea can support Panama that we could upgrade our education system mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the support of the technology that Korea has. So that would be another important area that we should try to work. Mm -hmm. And also to increase the exchange of students, not just the traditional scholarship that we have here that Korea uh, gives us certain number of scholarship for our students. Mm -hmm. I was thinking more in exchange student because if Korea sends students to Panama, this student will learn not just the education itself, they, they, they will learn about Latin American values, the experience to live in a Latin country. Exactly. So, so mm -hmm. that's the, the add value of this exchange. Right. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. I see. Um, Ambassador, thank you very much for your time and also You're sharing welcome. your insights with us today. And I really looking forward to um, our bridge between our two countries getting stronger and stronger. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs>